Yo, what's going on, and welcome back to some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Reshif of Destruction. In the last one, we started our way in uh, Domino Pier, and we saved Mai from that one guy. I, I don't remember what his name is. Um, but we need to continue there, because we still haven't gotten the Millennium item from here yet. <clears throat> Which I don't even know what it is. We also added... Uh, I can't move. Oh. Oh, right, Tristan and uh, Duke came here. At this rate, you'll never become real duelists. It'll take you a hundred years to reach my skill level. Why are we working for my? What do we do to deserve this? Oh, hi, Joey. You want me to train you too? Why would I need training? Aha, I'm only joking. Minion 1 and Minion 2 stop slacking off. Minion 1? 2? This sucks. Wipe those frowns off your faces. If you really want to want to improve your dueling skills, you should hit the road on a training quest. A training quest? I'm going. I am so going. Anything beats getting worked like a mule. <laughs> I would rather be anywhere else but here. Duke, let's go. Sure, wait for me, Tristan. Those two, I was only kidding. I mean... What's a training quest, anyway? Sigh. <laughs> now that my minions are gone, I have to do my own work. <laughs> but what are they training for? Uh, so yeah, but what I was gonna say before uh, that cutscene is we also added Petite Moth to our deck, which I'm convinced does something other than just be a Petite Moth, but we'll, we'll hopefully find out. Okay, so here's another... Millennium Guardian. Maybe they just all look the same, so I don't know if one of them is shoddy or... Uh... What? But maybe we'll figure out. To the souls guided here by the Millennium Item, prove your worth by conquering my duel challenge. Hmm. It reset our sorting option. Okay, so we got no idea how strong he is or what types he's using. Good, good. Do I go offensive? Might as well. Oof! 900 attack. That's not good. Hopefully he tribute summons. Because I feel like that's our only way to catch up, but that is not happening. Okay, we need a water type badly. That's not a water type. Um, I think we lost. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's not good. I don't want to place the Petite Moth. Because it has potential. Oh, that's actually okay. All fiends on the field will... What? That's baloney. Is this? This might be good enough. <laughs> I forgot that this card is just the best card that we have. We actually have a card strong enough to kill monsters. Again, we need to get more of this card, but I don't remember where we got it, and I didn't look through my videos. I should look through the videos and see where we got it from. Uh-oh. He tribute summoned. Dang it. Uh, I mean, our best play, I guess, is to just do this. But he's still got the advantage. Restructor for every card. Uh, ow. Okay, what type is this? Alright, this is Dream. And Dream, of course, is beat by Fiend, as everyone knows, and I definitely didn't have to look. I changed my screen up a little bit because earlier I had the the type advantages behind 
my recording thing. Now I just put them next to it because I figured I'm just always going to look. What beats wind? Forest beats wind. <laughs> Are we really summoning the Petite Moth? If the Petite Moth can survive, I don't know how many cards he has in his hand. If he doesn't have a monster, it might do something. Alright, he had a monster. And of course, Light beats Fiend. So, we are out of luck here. I think I just summon this in attack mode and hope for the best. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, I think that's that's about it, huh? We can't beat the Claw Reacher. We don't have any dream types left. He's got very diverse types. Does he win? I think he probably has enough attack to win. Yeah. Okay. Well, that didn't go well. I mean... I feel like changing our deck doesn't really help us. Because he had a lot of different things. I feel like we just gotta try again. And maybe we can like get our trap card or something early and have a better chance. Just waiting to lose all of our anti cards. Okay, we get to go first this time. Last time he summoned. Was it waters or was it fires? He also has a lot of fiends. I feel like I just summoned this though. He has a lot of things that have more attack than that, but. I did go fire first. Okay, so we'll go with our weaker water monster. I don't know what we're looking for at the moment. Or oh, we were looking for that, but now I don't have a tribute summon. I don't think. No. I should attack his face down. Oh, okay, it's dead. So now we can build some advantage, huh? Not a lot of advantage, but a little bit. If we could draw a tribute summon, this battle might be completely different. Oof. Fiend. Do we have a fiend? We don't have a fiend. That stinks. <clears throat> So do I just crash then? I mean, crashing feels bad, right? I feel like that's our best play. Then we put this because one of his strong monsters is a fire type. Ah, that's unfortunate. And that's a light. So we need a dark, which we actually have. Yeah, we were doing really good at the start of the battle. Now it's looking terrible again. But I just don't have anything to keep a monster on the field. What? That sucks. Although if that's the strongest card that he had... Where should I go here? I should save my light. Because he has a fiend right now, but... I think it'd be better to save it and summon the electric lizard. Okay, he's got nothing at the moment. 
Now we can build advantage again. Um, well, let's attack him and see what we're dealing with. Okay, he seems to have no strong monsters at the moment. We could just draw a tribute monster. Oof. We don't have any water to deal with that. That stinks. You know, it was going okay until that turn. <laughs> Just the fact that we never draw any tribute monsters. Like, what's going on? We got like five of them. I feel like I just got a final destiny, huh? Okay, we could potentially beat that. Uh, not like that, though. I guess we lose then. <laughs> I drew the one card that has disadvantage against his one card. We could still draw something. Nope, no we did not. No reason to use the trap right now. Because we're not protecting anything. Yeah, we just lose again. It was really close, but... See, like, I just drew another card that has disadvantage to what he has on the field already. Like, how am I supposed to have a chance here? How much life points do I have? I can potentially survive. It's not completely over, but I think it's over. Yeah, because that's what I thought he would do. Ouch. I just can't kill all of his monsters. And I drew another card that just has disadvantage to what he has already on the field. That's a really cool to just only draw cards that are at disadvantage, huh? Makes it very difficult to win. We almost would have been okay too with that turn. That turn was just disruptive enough, but... Just bad draws the entire match, huh? I wish we had like Pot of Greed or something, but I doubt we'd even be able to play it if we had it. Okay, uh, that's a low level one, huh? Oh, what a start. Is this a thousand or less? Yes. But so would work on that thing. I don't have any dream. Yeah, I pretty much don't have anything going for me here. Do I really want to summon that in attack mode? Not really. Okay, that's a dream. We don't have a fiend, so I guess we lose. <laughs> like, come on, man, really? I can't ever have a single card that has advantage? Now he's got two dream. Oh no, that's a light and a dream. <sighs> okay, well now I have the cards that I need, but he's got such a big advantage that it doesn't matter anymore.
Tribute summon. Do I have a wind? No, I don't. And my only play is this. <clears throat> Okay, it's a low attack card. There's Petite Moth, that doesn't really help us very much. Okay, the first turn we're actually ahead. But that's probably gonna change quickly. Oh! There's Final Destiny, not that we really want that too badly. Ooh, that was lucky. <clears throat> We just need, if we could draw a tribute card, we have a good chance. Okay, we might not need it. He has a lot of dream cards, though, is the problem. So I feel like I can't just go in. I think I have to, ooh, that stinks. I think I have to go slow and summon another monster. Because we can't afford for him to kill our Dark Magician. Okay. That's a light. So we can win that. I think now we have to summon Dark Magician. And just hope he doesn't draw a dream card. Or if he is gonna draw a dream card that we get a lot of cards on the board first. I don't know how strong this is gonna be. Uh, I should have, I should have summoned the lizard and attacked. I just wasn't sure. Okay, now we're in an okay spot where just drawing another tribute would probably guarantee us the win. But Dark Magician's pretty big. Ah, there's a dream card. Okay, I don't have any lights on the field. Dream beats dark, so if I attack... Okay, I should be able to win here with uh, the Witch's Apprentice. <clears throat> okay, we actually won. We only lost multiple times. A white magic hat. Very good card. Um, we could put it in our deck if we freed up enough space. Impressive, take this item. Oh, that's shoddy. I'm pretty sure. Wow, what's going on? Shoddy? See, I told you. But how? Millennium items retain memories of their bearers. These memories will guide the Chosen Duelists in their quest. Follow them to the salvation of the world. Gee, thanks. He disappeared. Was that Shoddy's memory in the Millennium Key? Well, we scored the Millennium Key. Yeah, Joey, Selixis, we should go see Ishizu. Alright. Millennium items are believed to attract each other. Millennium Key will lead you to the next item. All right, so back to Ishizu, and then we might go to Grandpa's shop and see if he has anything new and cool to buy. You obtain the Millennium Key with the power of two Millennium items. Slifer the Sky Dragon. Slifer the Sky Dragon has regained its power. Egyptian god cards choose their bearers. This card chooses you, Yugi. Ishizu, Slifer the Sky Dragon. I can't use it. The card belongs to my other self. It doesn't belong to me. But after all the trouble you undergone... But after all the trouble you undergone to attain it? That's not exactly correct. You will forfeit the resurrected Egyptian god card? I think Selixis should hold on to that card. Selixis also saw the Millennium Necklace's vision. 
I know he can control the power of the Egyptian god cards. I'm absolutely sure of it. Don't be shy, take it. I'd be leaping out of my skin to get a card like that. Besides, Slaver the Sky Dragon proves that the power of our friendship can defeat anybody. I understand, since you all agree, I will entrust you with this card. Yeah, awesome. We have the first Egyptian God card. Still, it seems that in order to restore a single Egyptian God card, we need the magical powers of two Millennium Items. You are correct. In order to resurrect all three Egyptian God cards, you must gather the other Millennium Items, and quickly. Okay. The next Millennium Item is in Italy. Among the Catacombs. Catacombs are underground cemeteries. A Millennium Item is certain to be hidden there. Alright, that seems interesting. Let's go heal. Um, we also should put Slifer into our deck. Because I feel like if we ever summon Slifer, then we probably win. Because Slifer does not have a type disadvantage, if I'm correct. It should be Define. Which would mean that it will not have a disadvantage. I would also hope that Slifer costs zero to put into a deck. What are we taking out is another question. You know, Tomasol is a good target. Uh, yeah, cost zero based upon the power of the cards in hand for every card in the player's hand is up to three levels. So I assume three levels means 1500, which is odd because usually it would be a thousand. So almost always probably Slifer is going to have like 3000 attack then. Although I find it odd that Slifer is labeled. Maybe it just has 4000 attack in this game, but it boosts up the more cards you have in your hand. Yeah, it seems like it just has 4,000 attack. Okay, but what do we take out for it? Do we have like a crappy card still? We're not really making use of. Mm, that card's really good. Okay, that's pretty much the end. Uh, I'm thinking the Hinotama Soul, since we have two of the candles that are just a better version of Hinotama Soul. And then move that to the deck. And now, so we want to add in... Magic Hat. Or white magic hat, if possible. So let's look at our light cards. He costs 87. Currently we have 40 free, so we need to free up another 47. That's close. Can take out Lucky Trinket. I think we should temporarily do that. Ooh, that's close too. I think we should temporarily take out Lucky Trinket. Lucky Trinket's one of our best light cards. Um, but this guy's going to be so much better, and I think it'll be worth it. And then as we acquire more capacity, we can add Lucky Trinket back in for weather control. I think that's the strat. Okay, let's save again, because we just changed our deck up. And then let's go check Grandpa's shop. Let's see what new stuff he has. Doggy, get out of the way. And maybe we could fight, like, Joey and Yugi. I don't know if they get stronger over time. They should, but... What do we have that's new? So far, I don't see a whole lot. Roddy Man doesn't have an effect, does he? Pretty decent card, though. I'm not seeing any new cards. This is new, actually. 
really? That's like, it's gotta be one of the best cards in the game right there. Isn't Giant Rex that effect monster that when you banish it, it special summons? Skell Angel would also be really good to have. Oh, that guy's a five. Oh, no, I was looking my mental look at this. It's a pretty good card. All right, well, I don't see anything else that we can really work with right now. Um, and the next place we need to go is Italy, huh? Well, let's let's see if Joey and stuff get stronger. Oh, it's actually voiced. I guess I didn't notice that before, but it probably was before as well. Okay, so we know that Joey uses a lot of warriors, which aren't necessarily a certain summon type. So we should probably just go with our strongest card, I think. We have Beck into Darkness. Oh, we got lucky there. Does that add 1200 defense? I can't remember if that's water or fire. But we should stay on the offensive because we have Beck into Darkness, so... Hmm... Here, I think we just go Leo Gun, huh? Let's attack first. Ooh... That's an Earth, though. Yeah, I think we just go Leo Gun. And then maybe try and set the Electric Lizard in defense mode? Or keep going offensive, we'll see. Probably keep going offensive. Nice. Yeah, I mean, his best defense card is Swordsman of Landstar. But we just happen to have quite a few dark cards right now. Ooh, there's a Time Wizard, though. But that's not really enough. Oh, we can't lethal here. Okay, he's got 2200. White Magical Hat. Um, if Leo Gun kills it, then White Magical Hat. Uh, anything could have killed it, but White Magical Hat will win the game. I kind of like, even though it seems like a weird system, to have it where you build deck capacity and you build up a level that allows you to use different cards, it's kind of a good system. Because, like, then you can actually get stronger by grinding, right? Um, so if you're stuck somewhere, you could just go grind. But at the same time, it kind of limits you and how powerful you are. So what exactly? It can power up any pyrotype. I don't have enough pyrotypes for that to be worth it. So did he seem stronger? I couldn't tell if he was any stronger. This is a tough one. Because I don't really want to put any of these in defense mode. Horn of the Unicorn, that's not good. That's really bad. I can't do a whole lot about that. I just play defensive for a few turns, and if I can't, if I don't come up with a solution, then 
I have to final destiny, I guess. Ooh, there's a solution. I have to kill the big um, man-eater bug while it's in attack, though. Otherwise, I won't be able to get over it. Okay, well, we gotta deal with this for an entire duel, but... It's... It's the only play we can make. Oh my gosh, it goes after every single action, huh? I might speed this duel up, actually. Uh... Okay, we're on two times speed for this. What do I want to do? Oh, the the thing kind of moves quickly, but it should power up. Yeah, there we go. That's what you like to see. So we just don't summon light monsters, probably. Yeah, the, the cursor kind of moves a little bit quicker. So I just gotta be careful that I don't misclick. Um, I guess we go Cyber Commander. I think we can get a lot of damage done this turn. Yeah, I mean, Witch's Apprentice, I'd honestly love to just like run a dark deck. With three of them. The problem is, is the second you run, you can't really just run a dark deck, I don't think. Because the second you run into a dream card, then you just lose, right? So, but you can run like, I feel like our our deck has is pretty heavily dark. Even though it's not necessarily a dark deck. Ooh, that's... Yeah, I probably shouldn't have done that for obvious reasons. I was trying to get 50 extra damage, and instead I lost 700 damage. So, that's obviously not worth it. But yeah, 3 Witches Apprentice would still maybe be cool. Ooh, you actually have a card that's strong enough. Alright, we don't need to do anything special here. Alright, let's switch it from fast forward back to normal speed. Left arm of the Forbidden One. I don't think I would want to run Exodia. Mostly because you can only have five cards in your hand. So I feel like it'd be really hard to ever complete Exodia. wonder where Tristan and uh, Duke went, though. I thought they'd just come back here, but obviously not. Hmm. Go check on... Mokuba over here. Oh, here they are. I, I find it funny that there's kind of like a side story going on, but I'm also a little bit disappointed that the Rebecca thing seems to have ended. But, we'll see, I guess. I told you no. Oh, come on, please. Yeah, we're Kaiba's best friends. I've never heard of you two before. What's going on? Master Mokuba. Mokuba, we're friends, right? Tristan, that's not what we're here for. Whoops, that's right. Will somebody tell me what's going on? These two are demanding that. Let us use your dual machine. The dual machine? Why do you want it? So Serenity can go out with me. No, that's not it. We want to improve our dual levels. Yeah, and then get a date with Serenity. 
Uh, well, Seto's not here right now, so I guess it's okay. Thanks, Mokuba. Yeah, thank you, Mokuba. <laughs> what the heck are those two up to? <laughs> this is the first time Master Mokuba invited his friends to visit him at work. But are those two really his friends? Eh. Mokuba, crank it up to the max duelist level. No way, the computer will totally pummel you. Start at level 2. If you can't win at that level, then you're plain lame. Oh, fine. I guess that'll have to do. Set me up at the same level. Okay, start the machine. Gah! I barely won. Assessing duelist level. Assessing duelist level. Assessment complete. Both idiots. Both idiots. Are you serious? But I won! <laughs> Simply winning doesn't impress the duel machine. It also checks for spell and trap combos. Judging by your skills, I'd say the computer made the right call. Oh yeah? One more time. Go right ahead, but I think you're wasting your time. I'm trading, don't distract me. I can't lose to Tristan. <laughs> I wonder if we should try and fight a higher level dual machine. Our training inside. Eh, whatever. Right now, I kind of just want to move forward. How do we get to the... How do we get to Italy? Where are we, anyways? I don't even know where Domino City is. Oh, we're in Japan. We're going all the way to Italy? Alright. Now, this is rare. It certainly is. This is a community cemetery from long ago. I know, it's called the Catacombs. That's right, you've done your homework. These people don't seem real. <laughs> I haven't done any homework in decades, dear. Oh, I can move now? This is a community cemetery from long ago. Duo? What do you mean? Do you want me to be your partner? Do you want to form a duo and sing with me? Called the Catacombs, for some reason this place makes me feel calm. Jewel? You'll buy one for me? <laughs> Alright, well. I tried ch challenging them to a duel if you didn't figure that out. Oh, it's Bones. Oh, we could just walk right past him? <laughs> Dude, whoops! <laughs> I thought he was guarding a door. Oh. Okay, well. Hey, Bones. Welcome to the catacombs. This is a communal graveyard from long ago. Long ago. Wait, did he say long, long ago? I'm Bones, your tour guide. If you'd like, I'll show you the sights. I'll show you sights you've never seen before. Sure. Man, why do we have to sightsee in this spooky place? Not that I'm scared. What are you talking about? This place is the best. You're not tourists. What brings you here? You're searching for a Millennium Item. Why would we tell him that? I'm not sure if that thing is a Millennium Item. Bone seems to know something. <laughs> Let's duel. I may not look like one, but I'm a duelist too. You want to get my info? Duel against my ghouls. I'll tell you what I know if you can beat me. But what are your chances against my powerful Neo Ghost deck? Okay, well, I would hope that a character like Bones uses a pretty much monotype. So as long as we can... Okay, well, that's not great. I was going to say as long as we can figure out what type he uses. Ooh, that's really bad, huh? We don't have anything that can deal with this. I pretty much just have to crash my white magical hat, otherwise we fall so far behind that we just already lost. Which sucks, because white magical hat is our strongest card. Earlier, our second strongest card, actually. Technically, which is Apprentice is stronger. Ooh. Now I wish we had white magical hat. Yeah, that's really bad. 
So we need light cards, huh? What's that? Oh, now we need a wind card. This is really bad. Yeah, we already lost. Also, I realized we forgot to heal. Okay, that's a dark card. I have to just Final Destiny, huh? It's kind of the only choice. It gets rid of Slifer and two of my- Oh, it doesn't get rid of Slifer. Interesting. Fire. That sucks. We've used up most of our water cards, too. I think we only have one water card left. Oh, that's bad, too. Okay, now I need a fire. We got lots of fire. Okay, well... We do have lots of fire. The problem is we didn't get any of it. Okay, well, we just have to use this, because otherwise we lose. Okay, so currently he has no cards in his hand, so he's top decking. I am also technically top decking because I can't use the cards that I do have. Did I just really... Yeah, I just drew a card that's at a disadvantage. Come on, man, really? I needed to not draw a card that was at a disadvantage that turn. That's lame. Do we change up our deck? Ah, that's tough. I wonder if I could have just challenged him to a duel to make it faster? But yeah, I, I don't see like a good type, like monster type that we could put in. That's not what I want. I want a quantity. I don't see like a one single thing that we could do that would just make us win this. Man, this is a terrible opener, huh? I had a trap card. I don't have any of my useful cards. Oh, but I drew one. Seems like light cards are fairly strong against him. Fiend beats dream. Do I go for that, or do I save this card? I feel like I save that card. Yeah, for when he does something like this. But I'm still behind, like I'm not... I'm not getting anywhere at the moment. I was really hoping to draw one of my fire cards there to be able to take that out. Oof. We need a light. Um... I mean, pretty much have to do this. And then, what do I place? Do I just place Petit Moth, hope he has nothing in hand, which he almost certainly has something in hand? I guess so. Should I attack with it? Might as well defend. I mean, the odds that he summons, what, a wind type is fairly low. It's 750, so I would have to crash, but it's the only way I can stay in the duel. 
Uh, this is a difficult one. Uh-oh. That's really bad. Need a light card? That is not a light card. Alright, it's going downhill again. Yeah, I mean, light... If we had primarily light... Fire Reaper. That only does 50 life points, though. That's not good enough. Yeah, maybe we'd change our deck to be primarily light. Because primarily light would have a decent chance here. If I drew white magical hat, we'd be in a good spot, but that doesn't appear to be happening. Okay, any light- oh, that's not good enough. Fiend beats dream. Well, uh, and that's a forest. Yeah, I mean it's just over, right? Nothing I could do. I tried my best. Dang it. It's just too hard to keep any cards on the field against these people. Because their decks are just way too powerful. So, I mean, we just need to add in a few more light cards, I think. What am I going to take out? Take out this guy temporarily. And this. So these don't seem to be doing anything for us right now. That lets me add that. And I guess... Two key mazes? Let's try that. Okay, this time I tried dueling him, it did not work. Oh, maybe I should have said no. Oh, this one counts as low level? Or oh, bite shoes. Whoa there. And of course, his first card is a dark, which doesn't make sense. Oh, but I could beat it with this. Okay, we're okay then. We do have white magical hat. Uh-oh. And now he has a dream, huh? What beats dream? Fiend beats dream, so we can beat that still. I have a good assortment to start, but 
He's summoning all of like his unique types first, which is bad for us. Hmm, do I just go Leo Gun? I feel like we do, because I don't think he has any wind types. Okay, we might have won. How should I do this? Problem is, if he has a dark white magic hat dies. I feel like I just gotta go like this. We'll just play it safe and go with Morphing Jar. That doesn't really matter. Yeah, he's pretty much top decking right now because he's used so many spell cards and stuff. I feel like that means we can just white magic hat for more damage. Okay, we can still get over that. Oh, we can actually just do this as well. So that's probably it. I mean, he's just top decking a monster right now. Wowzers, that thing's huge. I mean, we have multiple ways to kill it, but we'll just use this. Okay, so he gave us this Violet Crystal. Powers of Zombies, probably not what we're looking for. No, I lost. Hey, it's Bandit Keith. I don't know who that guy is. Or that guy. You said your deck's improved, but it's the same lame deck as always, Bones. Bandit Keith. I've never seen so many losers in one place. I've watched tougher duels in kindergarten. <laughs> Yeah, who's behind you? Oops, I forgot to introduce you to my crew. After Merrick's pathetic defeat, I took control of the ghouls and their rare hunters. Oh, that's Strings and... I don't remember the other guy. The ghouls are now reborn as the Neo Ghouls. And I, Banda Keith, am the leader of the Neo Ghouls. Oh, there's Arcana, or Arcano. Master Keith, we have obtained the information you seek. That's the key item for getting the Egyptian God Cards. With this info, I've earned the right to join the game. Join the game? Not fair that you runs get all the fun. We want to take part two. Oh, and another thing. I'll do anything to thrash that arrogant punk. I'll let, I'll let you in on a little secret. You won't find what you're looking for here. See you losers around. I can't remember who that purple haired guy is. Bandit Keith said you won't find anything here, but there's a hidden chamber in the back. I bet Bandit Keith's gang couldn't get in. It's over here. I think it's in the room ahead. Oh. <laughs> they couldn't find this? How much life do I have? Whatever. Those drawn by the Millennium might improve your worth here among the eternal slumber. I didn't read that correctly, but... Oh, right, I still have all these light cards that aren't very good. Uh-oh. Well, let's just hope that you have fiends. What the? Okay, so he's lots of water, huh?
Oh, that's not good. Thunder Dragon, huh? I don't have any earth at the moment. Ooh, okay, still no earth. So, so far it seems like I should bring earth and water to this battle. Ooh, that could have been close to me winning that, but... Hmm, this is a tough one. Probably shouldn't, maybe I shouldn't have used the trap. I'm unsure. So, I took out all my dreams, didn't I? And I didn't put them back in, I don't think. Yeah, so we got problems now. I need, like, back into darkness. Ooh, but he's pretty strong in general. There's not much I can do. Even... Yeah, there's literally nothing I could draw here that would help me. I think this was just over. Because he's got the perfect coverage with a dark and a dream. I don't know, maybe I could draw Final Destiny. <laughs> but it's not looking good at the moment. Yeah, that's not great. Oh, he's got enough damage. Well, we gotta change our deck again. Hopefully Bones will still be beat. So that would suck if he's not. What else did we add? We added this back, didn't we? What do we take out? Dream cards? So we're down here. Okay, I'm going to save it there, and I think we're going to take a break. Uh, we'll have to go back over there and see if we can beat that guy. Ah, it's going to be tough. We're at the point where maybe we should grind a little bit. Or maybe next time we might spend a little time grinding, because our cards are weak. Um... And we can't, like, even though we do have some slightly better cards, we just can't fit them in our deck, right? So there's there's some problems at the moment. But anyways, we're going to take a break there. We did get the Millennium Key today, so that's some progress. And we're about to get another Millennium Item if we can beat that guy. But anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this one, and I will see you next time.